Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session, session 114. And let me turn my lamp on here because it just might make it a little, yes, maybe I'm a little more visual. See me a little easier and just turn that down so you don't get my overhead light as much. There we go. So welcome to session 114. So in today's session, I'm going to be covering a number of live trades I've taken. Uh, I've just got back from the gym and I want to show you a, uh, a trade I took just before I left. But what I'm going to cover in today's session is critical that you stop, watch, listen and learn. Whether or not you become one of my members, because yes, I'm going to give you a 30 second advertisement on my course. But even if you don't become a member, stay watch listen and learn because I'm going to be showing you a number of techniques ideas and strategies that truly has the potential to change your trading results for the better for life unfortunately we live in an age where traders want to jump from one thing to another it's what we call the shiny object syndrome or the next shiny object syndrome or it's one called skepticism traders I'll explain the logic of the trades and the setups I take to you but what you've got to do is slow down and have what we call the growth mindset that is Carol Dweck wrote an excellent book on mindset and she said and by the way you know what there'll be traders who will be switching off straight away they don't want to hear about this and they wonder why they don't ever make it as a trader what we do know is only three to five percent of traders actually make money that's because what I'm talking about now they don't want to hear about it traders this is my life this is my passion and my job as a trading coach and as a trader is to be direct I don't have to be your friend but what I've got to do is deliver the best of the best as a researcher I might have failed to say that is I've been researching and day trading now for over 28 years so once again whether or not you become a member of mine or join my live trading room or my coaching room it does not matter what I want to make sure I deliver to you from the bottom of my heart is some strategies ideas and techniques that put you on the right road so stay with me yes I'll give you a quick 30 second advertisement but stay look we'll probably go for 40 minutes maybe 35 minutes but if you jump from this video particularly with what I'm going to cover with you obviously you're not really serious or you're not cut out to be a trader that's how serious what I'm going to cover with you today so let me now go back to what I'd normally do and I think what's put me on and, and give me this little lecture I'm giving you here is as a researcher I'm really interested in what I call the science of learning and what's the difference between a trader that really hits the big time and one that fails continually generally it's mindset so on the weekend over the weekend because I've got a I've got a coaching class in an hour and a half I have this exclusive group of 12 traders that I coach and we talk about and my job is, is talking to them about how do I get to that level of a five hundred thousand dollar a year earner so I I love the work of dr. Andrew Huberman and I was studying his work on the weekend called the science of goal setting because it's science based and as it points out in the articles I've got a ton of this, these research reports is that uh, most traders won't take the time to understand the neuroscience behind successful trading and I want to start to drill down on that more and more in my videos and in my classes with my members so this is what we're going to cover okay so how do you net $1,000 plus per day All right now for thousands not enough per day for the young guns I know it's probably not okay you simply increase your position size or you trade uh, a few more hours a day what I cover also in these sessions you can use on Forex uh, uh, stocks futures it doesn't really matter 
uh, but in the end traders you've got to follow the rules but anyway let me get into this okay so first of all in today's session we're going to be talking about trading particularly the ES now ES if you're not aware of it it's $50 a, which you should have heard of the ES $50 a point or $12.50 a tick the great news is if you don't have the funds available to trade this market correctly which I'll cover you can start on the micro which is 10% of that value now also there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and the great thing about trading in today's modern world you can start off on the simulator and so you master the setups on the simulator then you go to a micro even if you got fifty hundred thousand dollars uh, aim small miss small, smith small let me get it right oh by the way these videos are unedited okay so let's get into this ah the quick 30 second advertisement if you haven't already uh, you can download my free day trading ebook the truth about day trading uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with all of my videos uh, but still become a member what I cover in these sessions I teach you in my course okay so for $197 you get all of my indicators uh, if I don't have indicators for a particular trading platform you may have I give you the settings so you can set up basically everything you see uh, on my charts uh, basically with common indicators um, uh, there's over 200 hours of online instruction the good news is you don't have to watch all 200 hours you want to drill down on just my top two or three strategies and you take it from there now I also have a bonus so all of this for 197 where you can also attend eight of my live uh, and they're recorded if you can't attend the live sessions uh, private group coaching sessions where 16 hours of if you like group coaching uh, where I cover step by step exactly what I do and how I do it but we go into a lot more than that we do the psychology of trading and a whole lot more all of that for 197 you can join using the link below let's now get into this stick around because I'm going to give you some real meat on the bones today so first of all let's talk about why it's important that you have goals to begin with um, when the uh, the why is big enough the how will appear and what was really interesting and I, I must have uh, had my staff transcribe this um, uh, a long time ago when I say gee it must be 12 months ago and I read it but I had an aha moment over the weekend and Tony Robbins started teaching this concept I think it was back in the late uh, 1980s early 1990s called uh, the Dickens process and basically what I reread here and as they say when the student is ready okay it'll appear finally it appeared that if you're not familiar with the Dickens process uh, it's perhaps one of the most important things that we can do uh, is to apply what we call the Dickens process and Dr. Andy Huberman doesn't refer to it but there's a ton of research on it the point is you can be achieving this okay you can truly achieve this with time uh, practice and devotion the fact is most people are lazy and um, uh, it's a bit like a gym membership okay and learning how to trade really is that is you can take a gym membership you go there the first couple of times it's a bit hard uh, you get a bit sore so you stop going and uh, you know then you say oh that was expensive wasn't worth it whatever the fact is most people are lazy okay um, what it is motivation is what gets you started but habit is what keeps you going but what I want you to think about here what would an extra thousand dollars a day mean to you project yourself five years forward what would have that done to your life what if you don't achieve that anyway look up um, uh, the Dickens process on the internet and read what it's about I know most of you won't do it but for those that are open-minded do it now how do we achieve a thousand dollars a day realistically yes I can show you earning four or five hundred dollars a day per contract however let's talk about you know tiny steps okay um, uh, not too easy not too hard just right so this is realistic if you put the work in as you're about to see 
trade 10 contracts $100 a day or trade five contracts $200 a day okay trade 10 that's $2,000 a day this is the true potential now the best way to master the day of the art of day trading which is you're about to see is initially you want to be trading in the direction of the tide of the ocean and as I say on this slide here think of a market of an of um, as an ocean the major trends of the tides are smaller trends of the waves we want to look for the retracements and the trend continuation in the direction of the higher time frame and then we'll get divergence trades or reversals which I love but for new traders I recommend you sit on your hands initially when it comes to divergence trading now what I'm about to do is show you a number of charts then I'm going to duck over to the live charts themselves because I want to show you on the charts the good the bad and the ugly do I make mistakes after 28 years hell yeah I make some beauties um, however what I do believe in is what I call the 80 20 rule that is um, I'm after the 80 percent trades 20 uh, percent of the time I'm still going to be wrong hopefully it's a bit less than that most of the time it's slightly less than that however we're not going to get it right all the time but let what I do and I'm about to show you a mistake I made here and I want to explain this because unfortunately so many uh, educators uh, won't give you the good the bad and the ugly one of what I don't care what you think about me in other words I want to show if I make a mistake I want to try to help you avoid the same mistake for an example this one here we're about to look at my trades I made money on then the one this afternoon or this morning my time but here's a classic it's so easy to make this one is because I trade multiple markets I have a different dome set up for each market so I can have different stop lots but what's very important here is you you create what we call muscle memory where you put that dome on your screen do the same thing each and every day and same way you have the markets here for whatever reason I actually went I'd moved it for dome and I went and clicked on the wrong market and on the wrong Dom dome uh, and so I entered the trade on CL when it was meant to be the ES now yep okay I got out and I made one tick out of it but the point is very very easy to do so check the number of contracts before you start trading each and every day and make sure you're executing uh, on the right market so let's now get into this so I'll be very quick with this because I want to go to the live charts and show you some critical information some things that will uh, have the potential to immediately change your trading today so first of all you can see here where I've got a, uh, a retracement here you'll see me quite often I'll drop Fibonacci levels in more out of interest but if you do like Fib levels uh, you don't trade Fib retracements on their own what you're looking for is a retracement then uh, an additional reason for taking a trade now this is a trade I took for members watching this this was a 3b I then added to the position because I was already in a winning position thank you very much uh, that was a, um, a, a potential short there and I had one just here now what's that black line that is a pivot but it's also the on this particular day uh, yesterday's close and the current day's open these are what we call pivots we bounce off these levels each and every day the great thing about pivots and the open high low close levels is these indicators on virtually every trading platform that will plot these automatically now I then uh, down here further I had uh, for members watching this I had a t3 you'll notice I use a lot of codes it just makes it easier than giving the big long name uh, particularly with members uh, so here we had uh, this is by the way very important num number sorry another important factor here this is what we call angulation when you have angulation that's where you see price action angling strongly away from the EMAs you're much more likely to have a reversal and you quite often have no divergence and so we had a there would potentially would have been a nice trade but anyway uh, up here and I then jumped in on this one now this is one where I got a bit greedy I was going for four ticks I only ended up picking up one tick 
so let me tell you about this particular trade and I had one here which I wasn't in on but this particular one here I was after the four ticks I then hit four and instead of getting a break even and locking in what I could I then stayed with it and I only got out with plus one now why did I want to get out here at plus four look at all the pivots above me now this was uh, on a Monday morning okay so uh, Monday morning my time um, uh, late in the day where you'll actually have the way I calculate my pivots they'll be very close together you've got to be very aware of what we call pivot bounces may sound complicated if you're a new trader but um, let me tell you it's really quite simple once you understand what they are I got a wee bit greedy you know the bottom line is here uh, it was all over in she was in about an hour I'd wrapped up the trading hit uh, $200 plus per trade after commissions thank you very much and I'll show you uh, the benefits of that in a moment but then just to trade today so this was uh, a number of days ago that there and I've been sitting I've got actually three or four videos here uh, I need to record I just haven't had the time been too busy but uh, this was uh, about two hours ago uh, no actually it's probably looking here it's about three hours ago now so I got up uh, getting ready to go to the gymnasium and I saw this setup now this is on the ES and my apologies if I didn't say that there the other trades are uh, all on the ES this is on the ES two tick Renko and it doesn't matter which uh, which charting platform you're using or which type of chart so this is a Renko um, up here these are all uh, and see that there that's um, uh, called my trade line see that there so you can either enter using my super scalper which means you're not going to be in realistically to the third candle or you can use the trade line turn see how it turns from white then to black then white again have a look at that there for the accuracy and you'll be amazed at what that is and how it works but look at this here all the way down so you can use it with actually uh, with trailing as well you're out of it down here now you're back in to the trade back here but the point down yeah you're back in here and out there the point is here this was a very high probability trade and I'll show you on the charts because there's something I want to show you on a higher time frame now what you can see here is we're trading with or potentially I wasn't in these but I was just labeling these for a coaching session very shortly very soon my time uh, long long now we're getting what we call toppy when you start to get a lot of angulation you want to be very careful okay we rallied up you want to wait for what I call a 2b that's where you've got multiple EMA bounces on a number of time frames that's what a 2b is and away we went then I jumped in on this particular trade I had a double top and a double top doesn't have to be perfect it can be either way one or two ticks looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck okay and I then entered now I normally go to break even so I was after 10 ticks on this so normally I go to break even at plus six however because of the uh, the way that I'd had and the market was rolling pretty confident we could go for a larger target it was what I call an 80 20 trade good 80 percent chance if not better this was going to um, um, give me a full a full return 10 ticks I went for this one thank you very much I was out then it was time for me to go to the gym my wife and I go together as I must um, at least five times a week I'm 65 by the way and try to stay uh, in this business you've got to be mentally fit you've got to be what I call on the ball okay so that's another story so down here I just wanted uh, to give you a, uh, a reminder here that um, at 5:45 Central Standard Time if you have any open positions your broker unless you've got the overnight margin your broker will um, uh, close any open positions and usually charge you a fee for that so uh, that there was at 2:30 um, Central Standard Time usually around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time you'll find the market really becomes untradeable quite often but anyway let me quickly show you this this is important do not skip this uh, because 
this is where so many traders fail so here if you average $200 a day now $200 a day is 16 ticks now if you're a, a, a trader with a 10 tick stop loss okay so typically what I'm showing you here you can get away with a 6 to a 10 tick stop loss using my strategies it would mean you'd need 6250 uh, per contract you trade and I know what you're thinking oh hang on right that my broker tells me I only need a day trading margin of 500 to a thousand dollars that may be true but if you've got a 10 tick stop loss which is 125 per contract you just dropped so on a 1,000 account 12 and a half percent the great thing is traders you don't have to risk now you can uh, overly risk you can start on the micros there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders meaning if you want to stay in this game long term you've got to follow it's, it's all about money management money management money management sure the setups come a, a close second but you've got to follow the money management rule now it, so you can start as you're about to see on a micro but I'll get to that in a moment now the bottom line effect is if you want to be earning your half a million a year uh, 200 a day if you compound here by week 19 you're on your 10,000 uh, and your account is now 74,000 and I've got to say legally potentially and how this compound table works very quickly you only start trading a second contract every time you double your money and you can actually get a, a copy of this by clicking on the link below the, the table I use here and I've also got a little instruction video so here uh, you can also start with a smaller account and here I've got with a $5,000 account and you get there within 15 weeks you're going to say what's that about four weeks uh, now the difference is here you'd only have an eight tick stop loss now you can get away quite often with a six tick stop loss if you're a new trader I recommend a larger stop loss uh, because um, uh, it allows you to tuck your stop under a swing which I'll show you in a moment but you can see there 200 a day uh, which is only three trades typically a day in what we do and you'll see the trades in a moment you want to be taking look where you are you're financially independent for life uh, here what if and actually I didn't upload this let me pause this and put the right slide here here we go now this is the right slide I just thought I'd put this one in uh, just for the experienced traders the experienced traders smaller stop loss but you've got to confirm you've got momentum so here if you've got a 4,000 account now what's the logic behind 4,000 it means I can have a stop loss of and I'm sorry I didn't even say this a stop loss of six ticks but we never ever risk any more than two percent of our account so I'm sorry I should I don't think I mentioned that so over here we go back to this um, what this means is I can have a 2% risk which is $125 I can have an 8 um, uh, tick risk okay which is $100 5,000 here I can have a 6 tick risk don't skimp on money management otherwise I'm going to come and drain your account okay because what actually happens you start losing money you start to freeze you fail to then execute the trades now over here what if you then say okay I want to spend more than an hour or two by the screen I'm willing to do that I want to earn more per day so let's have a happy medium here you trade with an eight tick stop loss 300 a day and look where you are in nine weeks potentially this is a true potential for ES seven tick trades now let me quickly go down here what if and in fact I think I even dropped it down here to ten dollars a day we'll see this in a moment because this is one of the greatest challenges for traders is and I let's just do this 10 uh, which is uh, that's the equivalent of eight ticks a day okay which is two point I told you that these videos are raw and unedited um, it's uh, basically 2.5 oh that's not right on this market I tick yeah that's two points sorry beware of a guy that has a, a polished 
presentation okay I'm a trader and I love it anyway down here what if it's only ten dollars a day you want to start on the micro what we've got to do traders the number one thing is everything we do in life just about everything is driven by our subconscious beliefs and it, it's but it's the, the our conscious is only the tip of the iceberg the most of the iceberg if you look at it in this way is our subconscious if you don't believe maybe as a brand new trader yep you've watched a couple of good videos yep you believe you can make your thousand dollars a day per contract that's okay until you drain your account a few times but then you're gonna have all these lack of self belief and your subconscious is going to drive you how do we rebuild a trader well we do that here traders by having realistic targets now let me just give you an example here so say if you start on the micro and you're following my advice with a oops uh, and that's uh, wrong there <laughs> that should be uh, no that's right sorry um, eight ticks a day right sorry just checking this uh, here 625 account netting ten dollars a day potentially in 36 weeks you've got the the account size there to roll over six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars stay with me if I'm if I'm confusing you here so you're thinking to yourself I've tried this I just haven't made it thus far I'm bloody hopeless I just how how do you build a belief evidence defeats disbelief you start on a micro you start hitting tiny goals and we keep stretching it's like going to a gymnasium and this is where traders get it wrong you know they, they, they go to the gym a couple of times they saw um, uh, and they get lazy you've got to go regularly if you want to get the body likewise if you want to master the trade you're trading you've got to step up to the plate daily so if you say every day and say if you only only want to trade one to two hours a day maximum and you went for just ten dollars a day and then you went over to the simulator worst case scenario here in this example 36 weeks you're earning 470 a week by the way and you've now got the money to roll over to a big contract okay what if then you then only went for on the big contract 100 a day same thing we've got the large account now 46 weeks later you're now on ten thousand dollars a week on only one hundred dollars a day now down here you'd be trading 20 contracts the ES is a walk in a park with 20 contracts turns over typically one and a half million contracts a day so that's only two what I'd call scalps a day so that's 150 less ten dollars so actually here it's actually 140 a day here uh, you would actually be um, uh, earning after net of any losses okay and from there you can start to increase your target this trade is is the true potential now what will actually probably happen is you're following this religiously by week 14 or 15 you're saying you know what I'm getting the hang of this in fact I've got a, an email here um, let me just show you the date of this. so I'm actually recording this by the way I don't want to show you the name of the of the member um, this is um, so you hopefully you can see that it says Monday so this is uh, Monday 21st of October 2024 and here's what he says where's my glasses this is important traders uh, hi Ray I've been developing daily habits to improve my trade results significantly one of the most important aha moments for me is to trust the indicators and don't doubt myself I'm also learning to let my runners run when opportunity um, uh, arises see you later at 8 30 reason that's important he's attending training now once again you don't have to attend my training but he's turning up every day okay he's learning to trust he's listening to the um, uh, 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 right videos and that just made me think I got another uh, an email from a member a couple of days ago that on Spotify or wherever you, you he bit uh, where did he buy it from 
it was uh, not the disciplined trader but Mark Douglas's other book yet to drive up to San, Fr San Francisco and so um, what's his other book called just can't think of it right now so we listened to that in the car and he said just tell everyone they should be listening to Mark Douglas which I promote every day by the way for disciplined trader and I just can't think of his other book right now so you can listen to it as you if most of you are still going to be working you can listen to it in the car as you drive to work and home again remember 90% of trading is head 5% is money management 5% is your setup now here 10 15 weeks into it you might say you know what I'm gonna start going for $12 a day $15 a day you're building both confidence and competence okay what well, let's now go to the charts I want to point out a couple of things that I promised you which potentially will change your trading forever should you listen to me and unfortunately I know that uh, most traders don't okay they uh, they keep jumping from one thing to another you know and you know what I'm breaking all the rules of marketing here and I, I, I don't care I don't need the money is that I take the money but I don't need it in other words if you decide not to join because I'm direct with you so be it good luck but traders what I'm going to show you is going to change your trading so let's look at this first we're going to go to the charts but when we go to the charts we've got to consider what we call our pivot levels and Camarilla pivots you can get away with either cam pivots or traditional pivots you don't have to use both I now really like both what's the prior days open high low and close our major EMAs being the 89 and 200 the intraday swing highs and lows and the current days high and low why are these important because they're price magnets and major support resistance levels and you left traders we buy and sell into these levels every single day so first of all uh, let's go let me just start uh, minimize this and let me just pause this for there we go so let's just start with this um, so this is this morning's trade that I took that I'll show you um, first of all this is where you've got to take the time traders and learn how to trade with both an entry chart and an anchor chart one it's really quite simple once you understand the, the methodology behind it see this black line this major support line what that is is on my higher time frame that's telling me I have a 200 EMA bounce and what I want you to notice here and this is just before my trading and I wanted to show you this look at this here besides having angulation for members watching this yes it's a t3 that's a trade on its own and you had another one just there this is what we call a 3b just here now look at my trade line see how it turns white then it turns black now that turns on a dime it's it's not down here it, it turns basically on that candle just there so you can use the uh, the trade line to either stay with the trade uh, and go for your runners you'd be out on your second candle there uh, but also we can use it for re-entering trades such as like just here and this is the ES which is $12.50 a tick now we come along here long here had another entry a couple of entries here now this is at uh, um, 5 a.m. my time uh, out of bed grabbing a coffee pulling back pulling back now Ray you've marked all of these up why didn't you take this trade here's um, a lesson well, it's probably a <laughs> number of lessons I've given you but here's a really important one what's happened here is this does my anchor chart one confirm this particular trade in other words if you're surfing you're going with the tide okay you're going with the waves well actually you can surf when the when the tides actually going out but in this case I want you to look on the right hand side I discovered a formula and I want to say discovered it makes it sound like this great breakthrough well for me it was changed my trading where 
mathematically certain time frames you have what I call multiple EMA bounces that is my entry chart anchor chart one anchor chart two for and I've got a, a formula I use for different time frames for an example this is the two tick and today it was very quiet on the ES market you could get away with a two tick Renko we're on a really fast market you're gonna to have to use a four or you could get away here easily with a 233 tick chart where on a busy day if you like your fib numbers you might have to use say a 610 or a 500 which is not a fib number but anyway uh, but I want you to note just here look over at your anchor chart see how all of your candles are still green so when I have a retracement yes I get my trade line hooks it changes color up there beautiful but look over here I want to see my anchor chart one candle close as well confirming for trend continuation that did not happen so you would have gone long for members watching it yes it was a t10 also a t20-1 so up here you had another trade entry if you're in these are by the way these ones are all black and white there's 100% rules based these particular entries okay so uh, uh, do I have a fanning of the EMAs uh, and a fanning am I trading direction of a trend now we're getting up here and this is where I'm about to get in into the trade here we're getting what I call top here a lot of angulation when you get this angulation you're much more likely to have a pullback or a retracement just watching the time because I've got a class shortly okay now it's starting to get interesting for me now I'm also looking at the time because I'll, my wife's going to be up waiting to go to the gym in a minute so we pull back here I then bounce up and I then get a beautiful double top now let me pause this and I'll show you something on the anchor chart here so I've got a double top I have no divergence but on my uh, anchor chart one I've got a double top I have divergence and even my BB is rolled over so I've got a trade entry right here now you might say well hang on right it's not a double top it's down by one tick quacks like a duck looks like a duck it's a duck okay uh, and so in I go thank you very much now in this particular case I entered it at uh, 89.75 why did I enter at 89.75 I wanted to see the anchor chart one candle close so using your anchor chart like over here see this here see my trade line which is a different setting I use on the anchor chart one see these trade entries even this one here still hit four ticks all of those are in the direction of the trade line on a higher time frame as well so yes you can use it solely on your entry chart but when you're trading in the direction of a trade line it becomes what I call a loaded trade anyway we rolled over and away I go so down and for members watching this here yes it's a t20-1 but here I hit plus six now the reason I stayed with this trade is that usually at plus six or plus seven I'll go to break even but I was going to stay with this because I had great angulation all of my trend indicators I had three actually four trend indicators all rolled over and remember what this member said indicators do you know why they call them indicators because they indicate but they're only an indication what price may do but having one or two reasons for taking a trades good but having five or six is even better okay so then I jumped in thank you very much and down I went okay and then we went to the gym so I got out there and there was another nice little trade just there and then we rallied up here look and look what happens right here by the way so see that just there you had a trade entry members watching this yes you had a t10 just there now uh, and you had one just there now let's just then look at now and just one thing before we go no times getting on okay so just here traders uh, you had a trade entry and I'm going to tell you so I had one just there mechanical entry just there and there and I would have been stopped on that particular entry 
unless I waited for the trigger line on the higher time frame. See how it's black? However, hand on heart, I would have taken that trade. There are times when I'm not waiting for the trigger line on the higher time frame. But then here is my next trade right there. Okay, so there, and by the way, members, it's a T10 on your anchor chart one. So even though I got stopped on that one, away I went with that one. Now, just to show you one more thing before we sign off, some trades. Let me just uh, turn this back on. Whoops, pretty much showed you this uh, anyway. Uh, T12, Fibonacci retracements. Look, from there to there, that was an exact 61.8. So for Fib fans, I know you'll be interested uh, in those. Just there, major divergence, had beautiful divergence trade just there. Uh, this was an exact, well, actually it wasn't, my apologies. It was a 70.7 to a 78. It was a, in that zone area, but it was also what I call a T12, very high probability setup. Okay, and that's where then I entered these trades. And this is where when you're selling in to pivots, okay, selling in the pivots traders, this is where I want to take profits. So here, this is another 3B. Now, what I want to say on this, what's the direction of the trend? What I can see here with this overhead um, trend line, this is telling me what my anchor chart one is doing. Because in the end, I want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame. I can also use my major EMAs just here. Now, I personally also believe in what I call the POQ, the power of quitting, which means I like to hit a target, get in, get out, get paid. And by the way, I don't generally trail. Um, I like to use a fixed target on the ES, usually between uh, 6 ticks and 10 ticks, depends on the volatility of the market. Now, here was another T3, no-brainer T3, which uh, I wasn't in on that one. I didn't jump in this one here, and I think I mentioned here uh, that was into the pivot. I got it greedy. I should have got out with 4 ticks, which is $50 uh, per contract here. Now, in the end, to simplify it as much as possible for your traders. Initially, you want to be trading in the direction of the overall trend. Using the trigger line, see where it changes color? There was a re-entry just here. Now, it was on yesterday's open, but if you took that one, you also had a slingshot trade. There was your re-entry. Here, that was a 50% retracement for our FIB fans. Notice up here, you're bouncing again off the higher time frame. If you bounce off a higher time frame or you have a pivot bounce, see how all of my EMAs are in an uptrend. Expect a bounce. Now, can I sell that there? Yes, I can, but I want to cover my trade down here. Why? Because of this reason. For an example, see this here? This is basically within a tick of being a double bottom. It's a double bottom pivot bounce. Now, in taking this particular trade, if you know you've got downtrending, higher time frame EMAs trending down, you want to either cover or get to break even when you hit these major areas of support or resistance. They're pretty basic rules. In fact, you can now fit, I can fit just about everything I do on one sheet with just about every setup I trade. So, here, all of these are just no-brainer entries. But hang on, this one only went three or four ticks from my entry. Yes, but cover at the pivot. Now, we may punch through like we did over here, but you can always re-enter the trade. So if I'm taking this trade here, and I know I've got a pivot here, this is where I'm going to scalp. If I take this one, I've got greater room. Okay, this is where I go for a larger target. See, in the end, to be netting, uh, say, let's just say you want to net $300 a day on this market, traders, that's, uh, what's that, 24 ticks a day. 24 ticks a day, that is, and these are, even by the on my apologies, each one of these is one tick, by the way, on this time frame. 
higher time frames you get like two ticks per step I call these steps by the way you want to see 24 steps if you like a day forget the money focus on the ticks okay 24 ticks a day that's 300 a day now on that point as we finish and this is where uh, where are we here as you get smarter with your training and when I say smarter I mean uh, greater amount of experience you want to still be allowing quite often eight ticks but you can see where you are with $300 a day okay you can see fantastic income potential on 300 a day which you should be usually achieving uh, especially during New York within within a couple of hours but be very careful of a New York morning now we'll finish up on this okay I call it the killing field particularly the first 30 minutes unless you're a very experienced trader uh, you want to be very very careful of the time frame and when you actually the, the size chart and traders will say to me what's the right time frame I should be trading whichever one is tradable it's got to be slow enough for you to trade so traders we're now 45 minutes into this uh, video so what's your key takeaways trade with the trend look for EMA bounces off trending EMAs be careful and be aware of your pivots major EMAs open higher close and uh, low levels and your major intraday swings let me just show you this right now okay so here we are the Globex market just opened when I say just it's been open for actually an hour and a half when the market opens this it's called the Globex session by the way traders and so we can see here the market opened over here at 1700 hours and see that just there I've made a lower high I'm not going to take my first trade for the first five minutes now I've made a slightly lower high lower high again and look at this here we've dropped down to our major EMA like clockwork look at this here we're bouncing off an EMA and we're bouncing off the pivot let's just uh, no I won't go into it's gonna <laughs> it's already over the time but that there if not there if you looked at drank a chart you would have just had a beautiful trade entry just there okay uh, because on the higher time frame you would have seen we were right, oh, actually there it is right there let me pull this one down just makes it easier pull this down uh, and what you can see just here is we've rolled over and see the uh, trade line on my higher time frame it's screaming sell short all right traders so finally let me drag this out the way become a member okay where you'll get to uh, attend uh, eight of my sessions uh, if you can't attend the live session whoops, you can also then watch your recordings uh, and if you wish to continue by the way after the first month you can drop me an email and say look I want to continue in live coaching room uh, you can attend those for then only a low fee of $97 a month uh, or I've got a live trading room as well which you can end up uh, um, joining I also have an elite traders group maximum of 12 traders which actually goes over six focus weeks and the whole idea is to get you trading live trading within six weeks however that's another story but if you want to look at okay I'm on a, on a budget I'm a new trader start on this okay $197 uh, and and uh, you basically get the works and some coaching sessions all right anyway I'm going on and on and on uh, look I'm just looking at this here on look let me show you this as well I've got to do this now when I say I've got to do this is on oil for Texas tea okay now just here uh, 703 my first setup is right there look at my trigger line uh, look at my EMAs arising so that's my first trade on oil or would have been for the day just there now oil doesn't really fire up by the way until 8 p.m. Eastern that's when you get the Tokyo and the Shanghai markets open so that's where you'll see then oil will really start so that's um, uh, yeah so 
that's another what is it another 45 minutes or half an hour whatever it is before that opens but that's your first trade of the day and this is ten dollars per tick one two three generally on oil if you're wondering I'm after eight ticks usually anyway traders come and join me see the description link below hopefully you picked up some ideas shame on you if you didn't um, uh, go back and watch it all right traders thank you see you on my next video see you in the coaching sessions